Hello, my name is Chris Martin and I'm a senior technical consultant at Logarithm. In this demonstration, we're going to go over user behavioral analytics with Smart Response using the Logarithm Security Intelligence platform. The Logarithm AI engine, our correlation engine, is able to baseline and trend activities and then alert on a deviation from the norm. In this example, we have an administrator account logging onto a server that they don't normally access. As soon as our administrator logs into this server, Logarithm collects the host and user forensic logs in real time and compares this against the known whitelist and baseline of activity against this server. As our administrator doesn't normally access the HR server, this generates an alarm. And here we can see the alarm on our dashboard, a user authenticating to an unusual host. So, not only is Logarithm able to detect this unusual activity, but we also have the ability to run a smart response to take an action against the alarm. So looking at the alarm, we can see who the user was and what host they authenticated against, and we can either approve or deny our smart response. For this particular use case, the smart response is going to go and terminate this user's session. Now, as soon as I approve this smart response, the action taken place is immediate. So we have to watch this one very quickly because it happens pretty much immediately. And here we are. This was our user session to an unauthorized and unusual host being terminated. And we can go back to our alarm status and validate and verify that the smart response has succeeded. Our smart response has successfully logged this user off of their session. Now one of the things about smart response is the technology is instant. This is all happening in real time. So we'll watch what happened once again. And as you can see, within seconds of our analyst approving the smart response, the user session was terminated. Now we can have a look at the AI engine, our correlation engine, rule that triggered this activity. It's comprised of two parts. First of all, we have our baseline, or our whitelist, where we learn what is normal activity. This particular rule is looking for authentication activity, and the data is stored in a list. This list can be learned dynamically, or it can be automatically populated. And here are all the expected users who should be connecting to our HR server. When we see an authentication activity that not, is not on our whitelist, we can then alert. And here we can see we configure our smart response to run, including authentication, i.e. who should be able to approve this smart response. And there we are, a brief demo of how you can use Logarithm for user behavioral analytics and automated response with smart remediation.